hello hi welcome back to the channel is it a jump scare for the way that i look right now i wouldn't be surprised um today is going to be a reading vlog and we're going to go ahead and get started today it is friday march 3rd i'm not sure how long this book is going to take me to read but we're going to be reading powerless by lauren roberts this book was extremely viral all over TikTok. Um, it is supposed to be a YA fantasy. Lauren described it as like the Red Queen and the Hunger Games kind of mixed in a way but not like exactly. Um, so I really I'm going to this into this completely blind. Completely. I'm not reading the back of it. Nothing. I've been looking forward to this book. I've heard Lauren talk about it. Um, so I'm very excited. It is dual POV, first person. I, I literally can't wait. I've got all of my supplies in front of me. It is currently 11 o'clock, so I'm probably going to read for like an hour. See how far I can get into it in an hour. And then, um, okay, so I'm trying to see how many pages it is. 525. So a pretty long book. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be a series. I, like I said, I know nothing about this book. So we're going to go into it blind. But this is kind of going to be like a, is the book talk book worth it? Should you read the book talk book from the book talk author? There are a couple other books that I'd like to do if we like this, if we want this to be a series. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've got an ambiance that's going to play. I'm going to change my lights to purple. So that's probably what you're going to see. I've got my pens. And my markers and my highlighters and my tabs. So, we're going to jump right into it. too much I was um texting my husband because he's at work so um I read two chapters and um I read our our main characters are Payden Payden P-A-E-D-Y-N Payden and Kai um, and Peyton is homeless. She lives in like the slumps where she's like really, really poor. And then Kai is the prince. So um, from what I'm gathering, there was a plague that kind of took over the outlying cities of the kingdom. And so they like quarantined the kingdom where nobody, like they shut everything down. Nobody was allowed in like a certain area within the kingdom. And then, so a lot of people died during the plague and then people that survived the plague, a lot of them got abilities. So they were like faster, stronger, smarter, um, like telekinesis, that kind of thing. Um, so there are, are now the elites that have all these powers and from what I'm gathering there's this thing called the trials and it's going to be like a Hunger Games kind of situation. So Kai in, is going to be entering that. Kai has a half brother who is going to become king and Kai is supposed to become the like lead enforcer 
Um, okay, so let me read the back of this for you to see if I'm, like, correct. Okay, so it says, She is the very thing he spent his whole life hunting. He is the very thing she spent her whole life pretending to be. Okay, so that makes me think. The people that weren't, that survived the plague, that didn't get abilities, they're called ordinaries. So maybe she's an ordinary and his job is to hunt ordinaries because they want them like gone they the king decided that ordinaries weren't allowed in his kingdom so it's just only the extraordinary belong in the kingdom of Ilya, the exceptional the empowered the elites the powers these elites have possessed for decades were graciously gift, gifted to them by the plague though not all were fortunate enough to survive both the sickness and reap the reward those born ordinary are just that ordinary when the king decreed that all ordinaries be banished in order to preserve his elite society lacking an ability suddenly became a crime making paid in gray a felon by fate and a thief by necessity surviving in the slums as an ordinary is no simple task and Payton knows this better than most. Having been trained by her father to be overly observant since she was a child, Payton poses as a psychic in the crowded city, blending in with the elites as the best she can in order to stay alive and out of trouble. Easier said than done. When Payton unsuspectingly saves one of the Ilian princes, she finds herself thrown into purging trials. Ooh. That's, that's gonna be fun. The brutal competition exists to showcase the elite's powers, the very thing Payton lacks. If the trials and the opponents within them don't kill her, the prince she's fighting feelings for certainly will if he discovers what she is. Completely ordinary. <gasps> I love that. Now that I kind of like get the vibe of what's going on, I'm very excited. I'm already tabbing this book. I already got some tabs going on. Some, a couple good quotes. Um some like story building stuff i'm so excited to continue to read this but i've got to get some sleep it is midnight i've got to be up at seven um so i'm gonna get some sleep and this sounds so good i'm hoping that it is going to be as good as it sounds so um i will pick with up with you tomorrow when i read some more i'm very excited I'm captivated. I'm into it. 16 pages in. So, definitely excited to see what happens. Hello. It is Monday. Um, we're going to read some more Powerless. Um, I am. I read some more last night and a little bit while we were on our way to, um, North Carolina. I'm on chapter 10. Still really enjoying it. Um, the storyline's definitely like kind of coming together and all of the pieces are kind of falling into place as to um, how Peyton and Kai meet. So I'm filming this clip on my phone too by the way. My camera is upstairs and Lane is asleep. So I'm going to read a little bit of this I'm just kind of having a bleh day. I really wanted to edit and upload today, but I don't know. I'm just not having a great day. So. Hello. Um, I keep forgetting to update this reading vlog. I'm so sorry. I am... <laughs> I don't know what the last thing I told you was, but I'm on page 200. <laughs> um... Am really enjoying this. Um, it is definitely Hunger Games esque. I can see where she said it's like Red Queen meets Hunger Games. I've only read the first couple chapters of Red Queen, but I can see those similarities and definitely can see like the Hunger Games because there's like trials. They're every like six years or, or every five years. They're every five years in this world, um, but it's kind of like. Hunger Games make it fantasy is what this is but I'm really enjoying it um the tension between Kai and Payton is electric like the the tension and the angst between the two of them I love it so much there's almost like a kind of like a little love triangle-esque little
whole thing that's going on and I'm not sure how that's gonna play out but that's gonna be interesting so um, I'm gonna do some more reading it is like 11 30 on Wednesday and we are going to try to get as much of this done today as we can hopefully we will finish it so I'll check back with you in a little bit okay update it is now like three o'clock I've been reading my little heart out. I'm on page 252. I've only read 50 pages. That doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm annotating. So that usually takes me a lot longer. Um, and boy, am I swooning over Kai and Bay. <laughs> they're so freaking cute. They're like, they have such an interesting relationship because they're supposed to be competitors in this, in these trials. But like their banter and like they're both just like super like she's super sassy and a smart aleck and so is he and but he definitely drops his guard around her sometimes um so I'm really really loving this and I'm just kind of like swooning so hard over Kai <laughs> I'm swooning so hard um so Kai is like the future enforcer so he's gonna be like the future like killer for the king basically he's gonna just be at the king's beck and call which the future king is his brother um but he's gonna be like at his beck and call to like do whatever he wants him to do um so he's kind of been bred to be a killer um and in like a couple chapters ago i've, I've really been loving annotating this book but oh he said monsters are made not born which and he goes into like some detail of like his past with his father and it's kind of heavy in a way um but I'm really really loving this um you can't see all my annotations because I haven't like I haven't um like tabbed where I've annotated yet but I'm definitely annotating some especially now I feel like my annotations are getting more heavy now than they were before but they're in the trials um and they've kind of like teamed up like I said very Hunger Games-esque and many of the main plot points so if you're someone that doesn't like stories that are very similar you might not like this but I think it's different enough it strays far enough away for it to not be exactly like the Hunger Games um but I'm gonna continue reading I'm really hoping I can finish this tonight I think I'm a little over the halfway point because I think there's five there's 525 so I'm not quite to the halfway point. About like 10 more pages and I'll be at the halfway point. Just wanted to check in and let you know that I am loving this. Loving it. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm back to filming on my camera because I actually remembered to like grab it. And Lane is at work. It is currently like 11 15 i'm about to read some more powerless i'll probably read for like an hour before i go to bed i'm on chapter 30 page 276 um they are in the trials in the depths of it some crazy stuff just happened i'm swooning so hard over kai i think i've already said that but it is continuing this boy Oh, swing, swing, swing. He's just so smooth with the way he flirts. He's so smooth. So I'm going to turn me on an ambiance. Let me stop moving. I'm going to turn me on an ambiance on, on, on. I'm going to turn an ambiance on YouTube and get, probably turn off my big light and gonna read some I might turn my lights to a color I don't know what but um, I am annotating this which is taking a little longer 
than it normally would especially like these last couple chapters I've really been annotating a lot because like sparks are flying between the two of them and I love it so I'm gonna read for a little bit um, I will probably time lapse a little bit while I read um, do we want some cozy rain and enchanted forest? Um, let's see if they got any fantasy esque ambiances. Cause this is a fantasy book. I usually just like a like a good crackling fireplace and some rain. Fantasy ambiance. Let's see. Enchanted lands. Fantasy music. Ooh. Let's do that. And then let's set our lights. What do we want? Purple or like a dark blue? Purple. Or do we want more of like a dark blue? Mm. Let's do the dark blue. Then we're going to turn my lamp down to like there okay so we're gonna read and I will catch up with you once I get to a rolling point I'm also going to turn on this is the forest app I love this for focusing um you can do a stopwatch where you choose you can do a stopwatch where you choose how long or you can do a um, timer for how long you want it um, and then you can have it on what's called deep focus so you can't use any of your other apps and I'll show you once I start this but you get to pick a tree let me get this to You have to pick a tree that you want to grow, and then you can buy different trees with the coins that you get for buying them. But you pick a tree to grow, and then if you. Okay, so we're going to do this tree. Just a regular little tree. Um, I have 400, and you can use your coins to either buy, real, buy your little trees, so you have different kinds of trees you can grow, or you can use it to actually plant you can use it to plant real trees like in the forest um but you go to like your little forest and so like I have my one little tree from today where I focused for 47 minutes but if you go out of your thing or you stop it which it's not as hard for like a stopwatch but if you're like I want to do something for an hour if you get out of this app or use anything else that's not allowed in your deep focus it will kill your tree <laughs> and I don't want my tree to die so this is very good for my ADHD so I'm not picking up my phone while I'm reading so I'm going to set this for instead of doing a stopwatch I'm going to do a timer and we're going to do so you can see here and it does the different time we're going to do we're going to do 50 minutes. Um, I don't know that this like time lapse will last that long. But I'm going to read for 50 minutes. And I want this mushroom. It's 1200. I don't have that many yet. Okay, I've got to start doing this more. Because I want this little mushroom. Look at it. It's so cute. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do my little tree. Okay, so it is counting down for me. And then if I go like out all of my like apps are locked see that how they're kind of grayed out it's kind of hard to tell but they're real they're like grayed out see like my messaging app see these two are brighter these two are duller so I can't use any of those so if I click on them it will kill my tree so I don't want my tree to die so like if you try to go to this app it says deep focus and then it tells you sorry this app isn't on your allow list return the force and stay focused so we shall do that so 
So I've got all my pens and my highlighters. Lots of them. Purple and green is the color combination. I'm trying to get me some pillows behind me. Um, so let's do some reading. I'm going to sit you over here. I'm not okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> Shut up, Alexa. Um, I know that the lighting is not great at the moment, but I can't because I'm still in my focus. I'm still in my focus. I can't change this light color. Um, I, I just went on an emotional roller coaster. Um, as you could see, I was boohoo crying <laughs> the first trial just ended evidently there's different like there's different stages i guess i'm not sure like different competitions i'm not sure how it's all gonna play out but the first trial just ended and it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes going forward but yeah i was i was not okay there for a little bit i'm i'm, I'm still not okay um not okay when you read it, you'll understand. It was chapter, it was chapter 32. I was crying so hard. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to tell because it's so dark. Like, it's so blue. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But, it was not okay. Alright, we're going to continue reading. I just feel like, felt like I needed to say something. Because I was so distraught. I'm, as I'm sure yeah, maybe you will be able to tell in that last clip. We're going to switch angles a little bit and see if we can do something different. That'll be fun. We'll try some new stuff. So that you're not just looking at me reading all the time.
Okay. I think I'm at a stopping point for tonight. I should be able to finish this tomorrow. Um, my daughter had t-ball practice today so that definitely took out some of the time or I think I probably would have been able to finish this. I'm on chapter 35 page 323. I'm just so tired that I'm like struggling to keep my eyes open. I'm so like invested in this book though like I cannot wait to see what happens and I hope there is going to be more in this because I feel like there's no way to like wrap up everything in this little bit of this book so I feel like this is definitely gonna have to be a series um but I'm very excited S hello I am very excited so we will read some more powerless tomorrow hopefully we will get it finished up um I have to wake up at 6 30 to take my daughter to school it is 12 38 uh, no sleep that's what I'm gonna get no sleep no sleep um so definitely gonna try to get some rest and then we will finish this up tomorrow hello okay it is 8 a.m. I've had a coffee it hasn't hit yet but I've had a coffee um we're going to try to finish powerless I don't know that I'll be able to finish it in one sitting. I have about 200 pages left and I'm very excited to continue to read this. Um, I think hubby just got home. He bought me some eggs so that I can cook me some breakfast. But I think I'm going to read a couple chapters before I do that. It looks like these next couple chapters are pretty short. So, we're going to continue on with this. I'm still unwell from last night but we shall power through power through um so let's read hello it is now forgot to put my apple watch on today 3 20 in the afternoon i have gotten some more reading done i am now on page 434 i am in the middle of chapter 50 and let me tell you this book is getting so good like like oh my god I'd say like the 50% mark on has been insanely good I've loved it the tension oh my god the tension like the amount of highlighting I'm doing in this book is unreal so I'm going to continue I'm definitely going to finish this today probably in the next couple hours I'm going to try to finish this chapter go wake up my husband because he's got to work tonight and then I'm going to finish this up and we will do like last thoughts and everything on it this will continue to be spoiler free I'm not about that life but I am going to try to finish this and maybe the next chapter. And we're going into the third trial. So I think there's three total. We're going into the third trials very soon. They're about to do the third ball. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to finish this book. I've really honestly loved it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I really wasn't sure what to think. Um... I'm going to try to finish Red Queen this month so that I can kind of compare it to see what similarities it pulled from what Red Queen since Lauren did compare it to Red Queen. But I was kind of irritated by the likeness to Hunger Games at the beginning. Um, but honestly, I feel like now it has such its own story and personality to the book that I'm not really irritated by it anymore. I am honestly really, really loving it. And I can't put it down. I don't want to stop reading. Once I hit that 50% mark, I did not want to stop reading and I'm having to force myself to stop reading. So I'm gonna to try to finish this up. Um, I might try like the last like 50 pages to record me reading just so that I have, 
just in case something crazy happens um so that you can watch me cry if that's what ends up happening i have like shed a few tears a couple times since last night but not anything like me absolutely bawling last night over this book but <laughs> um i'll catch back up with you in just a little bit Chapter 52. That's all I got to say is chapter 52. Oh my god. Hello. We are switching to my phone because my camera battery is dead. And I want to finish this last like 60 pages or so of Powerless. So I think I'm going to sit you right here. My hair is something else today i'm on chapter 53 i have this much left this much hello focus on not my bun i have this much left so i really just want to finish that up i need to go through and highlight these last two pages three pages then we will finish up this book i cannot wait like i said i've been loving it in that last chapter had me in a chokehold. It was beautiful, wonderful, stunning. I loved it. So, we're going to continue this. I'm going to do these last couple. I've already read these chapters, or these pages, but I'm going to annotate them really quick. Um, and then we will start on chapter 53.
not okay. <laughs> Oh my god. I did not expect this book to be so emotional. Um. Whew. I'm gonna take a break for a second. I'll be right back. Hi. Hello. Um. I'm doing okay now. I've come down from all of that. I'm gonna finish this book. I'm gonna finish this book! <laughs> I could literally scream at what just happened. Could literally scream. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Lauren, why are you doing this to me? I know you're not watching this, but why are you doing this to me? Why? Why are you doing it? I don't like it. It's very rude. <laughs> okay. We're going to continue. I'll let you know if anything else happens. If not, I'll give you a wrap up at the end. But if anything else happens, I might throw this book. In the best way. In the best way. I might throw this book. <laughs> I'm stressed about something that I think is possible that could happen. And if it happens, I, I swear to God, this book is going across the room. I'm just letting you know that if this book flies across the room, then you know that's what happened. Okay, so final thoughts on this book. If I look like crap, it's because I feel like crap. Pretty sure I'm getting a sinus infection. Um, as you can tell, I finally went through and I tabbed this book. And if you can't tell, I loved it <laughs> so much. This book was absolutely incredible like the emotion in this book was so good the setup for the next book is so good like oh my god I am so ready for the next book I have heard nothing about the next book I don't know when it's coming out um but if you love YA fantasy if you love Hunger Games and you love that kind of era of fantasy I think you're going to love this I think it was this book was so good it wasn't like cheesy or anything like that there's some definite like 
heavier topics in this so definitely look up trigger warnings but I am just so obsessed it was so freaking like so much better than I ever thought it was going to be so um props to Lauren on your first book congratulations this is absolutely amazing and um I hope that you all go pick this up because I absolutely loved this i hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog let me know if you're enjoying the reading vlogs because i'm having fun filming the reading vlogs um so let me know if you are enjoying watching the reading vlogs i think i have one more plan to try to do in the next couple weeks um and then i have plans to do the mixtape series by cat singleton um, I want to do all four books. Each book will probably just get their own. Each book will probably just get their own video. Um, so I definitely want to do this. These are pretty short books. So they shouldn't be super long reading vlogs. Like this one. This one was a long reading vlog. And I'm sorry. Um, I think it's like 45 minutes or so. Right now as I'm filming this. After I've edited. Um, so. This was over 500 pages though. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are not already, make sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are not already, follow me on all of my social medias. My Instagram, my TikTok, my Goodreads, my Storygraph. All of those things are linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.